Welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm Andrew Vizzini, and I'm joined by Murray State news writer Ed Marlowe to discuss the upcoming vote on allowing liquor package stores in Murray. Uh, now, Ed, you've been following this story uh, closely for the Murray State News mm -hmm. for a while now. Uh, for our viewers uh, out there who may not be as well informed as we should be, uh, tell us a little bit about the background uh, about the Grow Murray. Basically what's going on is uh, back in 2009 uh, there was a big push by uh, a similar group uh, similar to Grow Murray uh, that was trying to get total packaged liquor sales uh, uh, back then. Uh, now uh, that was unsuccessful uh, and now three years later here in 2012 uh, it's all coming to a spearhead on July 17th uh, they got a petition passed uh, with the required number of signatures to put the vote for total package liquor sales on the ballot. Okay. Uh, now there was another petition going around at the same time as well on, on the other side? Yes, there was. There was a, a petition uh, called Keep It Out of Murray. They were seeking the uh, same number of signatures, roughly 700 signatures required, uh, in which they were either trying to keep package liquor sales you know, completely out by, by keeping how it is now in Murray at 70% food sales, 30% alcohol sales, right. or to go completely dry. Okay. Uh, now, they, both of those petitions were kind of going towards the same goal in the end, right, as far as just bringing it to a vote? Yes. So but you'd say just like difference of which side they were on, exactly. basically. Okay. Um, now, what exactly is this vote on? We know it's it's not for liquor by the drink. Right. Uh, it's it's just for for package sales. That's correct. Um, the vote actually uh, is titled um, "Do you want uh, package Do you want package liquor sales in Murray?" Uh, it's a little bit different wording than that, but it, that's fairly close. And basically, what it means is, uh, if you vote yes, then you will be voting for total distribution, which means package liquor sales. It means possibly new package liquor stores. Okay. Um, uh, now that includes beer and wine and uh, hard liquor, or it, do we? It really depends. I mean, there's different licenses for both, uh, uh, but but in the end, I'm sure it would be a pursuit of beer of stores of of everything. Absolutely. Just, but a lot of those details would get hammered out later sure. if it if it does indeed if it pass. Now, uh, we, we've had liquor by the drink here in Murray for a few years now. Uh, when exactly did that? Uh, 2000. Uh, 2000. So it's 2000. been about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, Murray was, uh, or Callaway was a completely dry county? That's correct. That? Mm -hmm. okay. um, now, we, uh, we, we do want people to get involved. You know, we're not trying to tell people which, which way to, uh, to vote or anything. Uh, so tell us just a bit more about some of the the, the two or, the organizations on each side just where people can go if they you know if they have a strong feeling one way or the other um, the first step that I think anybody needs to take is uh, this is a city vote um, and basically what that means is that anybody that lives within the city limits uh, cannot uh, has to has to be registered to vote within the city um, if they don't have a residence here then they can't vote in the first place. Once that's taken care of, the two different sides, Grow Murray and Keep It Out of Murray, both have websites, um, as simply stated by their name, growmurray.com and keepitoutofmurray.com. And, and they're both on Facebook yes, as well, they are. and mm -hmm. people uh, can go there for more information. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, well, thank you for joining us. No problem. Um, as for everybody out there, that vote is July 17th, and uh, thanks. Uh, when we return, our own Alex McReynolds will sit down with Cash from Phi Beta Sigma to discuss their spring philanthropy event.